Hammers Esports going up against Gangstars. Here we go, potentially the last map if Gangsters manage to snag the victory from Hammers on Bureau. This is gonna be a heavily contested map, I can already feel it, but I do not expect Gangsters to slow down one bit, and you can already see that Knight is making his way towards the B site. And the three players are actually on Banana, challenging towards A, so it's gonna be somewhat of a lure coming up from Knight, but he's already having an active firefight there behind Vents, and uh, a lot of bullets being exchanged. There he goes, finally Fishbits finds him. Good start for Hammers, but that's a good call coming out from Gangsters, actually go into the A site. Hammers already rotated some players, but three players are really close to this A site. They have to be careful, Gangsters. They might not expect players, as you can see, that Lewis was not expecting Kraken to be so close. Thank God, Kingus was actually pretty close to reach Frag. And now, three against three, a site, definitely a site you want to retake in this kind of a situation. Blue Eyes starts it off, Joker goes down, Alpha finds a refrag, but two players are flanking him, not aware of that situation. And now only is going to be King remaining. He has to concede the position, he has to go back, play the time. Still, he knows where the bomb is, he can hear when the defuse will happen. But Fishbits, spamming the defuse and Kingy. 7 it's HP. Out. 7 HP is what separated Kingy from certain death and what separated Hammers Esports from their first pistol and round win. But it's going to be Gangsters on the other end and they're going to be the one charging the lead once more. They have confidence and once they win the first map, you can see that they relax. They started playing even more free, even more confident. Hammers Esports on the other side. They sometimes do manage to close it up. This is their chance to actually bring it back, to bring it to the third map. And they are on the CT side, on the more favorable side for this uh, map, and especially be when it comes to their team style. This should be Hammer's Esports win. Should be, but you can see Gangsters have the bomb in Wentz already. Luis trying to punish those players on that B side. Two players are there. Oh, wow. One with the shotgun, one with the pistol. Not able to get it. And Gangs is realizing maybe the right call is to get that bomb into the A site. As there is currently no one there, but a player pushed out. Definitely a weird round as once more the teams kind of switch sides still. Yeah, it was contested for a moment. Looked dangerous for gangsters, but now it seems like they have uh, the right idea on what's going on with hammers. Knight following up with a kill onto God and only Blue Eyes remaining. Blue Eyes should get the kill as he does. Gonna switch it off. Switch it around for the AK. Will he go for it, actually, actively? You see that one of the players, I'm not too sure who that is, over there on the CT alley. Oh, just the timing not working in favor of Blue Eyes, but he's gonna go. He's actually gonna go for this, and he might actually, if he hurries up a bit, flash it out, but I think he might be looking for some exit frags. Yeah, but Or a ninja, maybe. Mm, is this possible? Doesn't. I don't think this is possible. King expects it, but does not fire a shot. No second kill, but I even... Even if he got the second kill, it would have been really close to the defuse. A matter of seconds is what would decide the outcome of the round. But Gangstars, there's only one player remaining. That was actually a force buy coming up from Hammers. And they managed to do some damage, but I think they were expecting a round here. Yeah, they have had to have been expecting that round. And now you can see Gangstars, they're not wasting any time. They're rushing into mid. That was a good flash. There's a player, I believe. Lewis with the shotgun, Kraken picks out Sandwich, and there goes Blue Eyes, punishing Lewis. Perfect timing for Blue Eyes, and that attack from Gangsters is looking, looking much more unlikely that it, it will succeed. Two only players, and it's gonna be only Alpha remaining. He's really in a really, really weird spot. He's on the B side, and he got two kills, surprising those two players. And only Blue Eyes remaining next to Fish Pits, but they're both in a one against one position where Alpha can actually find one against one duels. For some reason, Blue Eyes fires his shots, but uh, he did manage to connect it onto Alpha, and that's gonna be Hammers Esports taking their first round on the board. And that definitely was a force by you. But Hammers have been consistently winning those force buys today, making them work with like a rifle, a shotgun, and some random pistols, and they can make it work. They have obviously practiced that one out and throughout. Now five players in banana for gangsters playing this one out really fast. You can see how close this is. They do not have the money to buy. The only rifle has just died and four pistols are here. Knight in an interesting position though. Gangsters so proficient with those pistols, especially Knight. Fish bits. I mean, Hammer Seasports realize that ne they need to take long range duels since they have that uh, range advantage due to those rifles that ha they have. AKs and for especially on long range. 
is effective, but Joker even more effective with that revolver. That's what you do with that gun. He just flashed headshots, got in a bad spot, but not in a bad spot, but could have been a headshot angle here. But that's the bomb though. Why did Alpha have the bomb there? Joker grenaded down to 41 HP. Yeah, the bomb has been dropped. Not sure if he realized that he had the bomb, but Blue Eyes and God are gonna mop up the floor. It's only gonna be gangs. Actually, no one remaining. I don't know what I was going there with. <laughs> Hammer C Sports. They're gonna be tying the, tying it up two to two. Gangstars are gonna be able to buy up as far as I can see, but it's gonna be a forced buy. Yeah, only two AKs and a few pistols. I mean, so was the last one, and now that you're going in, they're not slowing down the pace. They're going to be rushing this one out. They want to catch hammers off guard. As soon as they say that, they stop. And you're spotted now. You know your back went, but hi! You have to hold back when That part of the map is so crucial. Allows, allows so much map control. And now we can see Fishbiz and Kraken making sure and fixing the mistake that Hi made. They are fixing it indeed in a what way as well. Just a few moments, Lewis. It's gonna be the last remaining player for Gangsters, and after what it seemed like a perfect start of a round for Gangsters, it all crumbled down with a something we always commend Hammers. Their rotations are on point. They're able to get the best of it. Even though if they lose a key point of the map, they're able to retake it within seconds. You can see that's exactly what happened. Lewis did not manage to do mu uh, a lot with the 1911, and now it's gonna be Hammers Esports taking the first time, uh, taking the lead for the first time in this map. Finally, then again, usually when these two teams play this map, it's, it is it decided. I know we said, yeah, Bureau is like a 6 to 6, 7 to 5 map, but these two teams more like an 8 to 4. So expect Hammers to pick up more rounds of the Gangsters here on that CT side, unless something drastic changes. But finally, Gangsters forced, uh, forced to eco. Although Kingy does have an M4 and Fishbits will be rotating here. Here's a lot of steps, picks up wide, one not able to get a second. Yeah, just like that, Hammers completely just stomped out gangsters in that monitor room. They were able to get those kills. I thought Fishbits might get a bit more than that, but easy does it. He has, he only has two deaths and 12 kills. It's Blue Eyes wrecking that scoreboard. Yeah, Blue Eyes is one of the younger t uh, younger players next to High, really delivering a lot of potential in that player. CUI brought his team to the finals. Knight, easy Ooh. shot. That's uh, one of the easiest shots ever for Knight. He's gonna be happy with that. He's gonna be following up onto a second kill onto Blue Eyes, and that's gonna open up the whole map for Gangsters. You can see just how Gangsters do manage to reclaim domination as they have adapted to. But God, look at this. He spotted some players, found, uh, finds Kingy, finds Alpha as well, but too many players around him to actually do more than that as Knight is gonna be finishing it off. That kill of the Eurasia. I think that was actually a, a 3k for him. Yeah, and Plays gangsters. When did this happen? Way. Since when does Knight play that Eurasia? Joker hasn't been using that Eurasia much, hasn't been using it almost at all. Suddenly we see a change onto Knight. Even Lewis using it, using it for a little bit. Well, it's working out so far for him. Three frags in that last round. Two opening picks actually. But in this round, the bomb is dropped towards B long. Meaning that that will probably be the end case scenario for gangsters. But two players in banana, one in mid, they're looking for pick. Playing a little bit more individual, and that Super 90 punishes Alpha. High through the smoke onto Lewis. What? This is game sense. No way, that's high from uh, back went. Makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? No. Well, God almost had him though. Yeah, it was it was really close. I actually thought that the bullets have connected, but it did not, was not get, what? Not the case. Kraken, wow, really doing damage. That's a popular spot for this, uh, yeah. for Super 90 to have in oranges, thanks to that mid. Knight, easy shot onto high, and he's really proficient by the U ratio. Such an all around player. But even for him, even for a player of such caliber, I think one against four is going to be a bit too much as he's going to be forced to save the sniper, which is a good decision. There's no need to rush with those rounds. You have a map advantage. Gangsters are known to actually have those impact on that CT side. So T side. To get more than five, that's really great for gangsters as they can really uh, show up on that CT side. On the other side, hammers are not so known for that T side. And now that I think about this, this map could just have a little bit of trauma, a little bit of bad memories and flashbacks for hammers. Because this is the map where gangsters defeated them four versus five in the finals. Exactly. When Tube is disconnected.
and all of the players responsible for that are here. Oh, oh Blue Eyes though, pushing in and denying that Eurasia. Blue Eyes on fire on this map, and even the last one. That's uh, a key part to take away from Gangstar. Says Knight will not have that Eurasia anymore. I'm also suspecting he does not have enough money to buy up for that Eurasia. As you can see, they would have a perfect buy if he saved that Eurasia, but did not is not the case currently. They have to work with what they have, but Knight with AK, even better potentially. And he gets grenaded. Blue Eyes with a double kill. Exactly how you want to start off this CT side if you were Hammers. Lewis, again, last alive against four players and they know exactly where he is. Off angle from high. It's not good enough to actually stop Lewis from killing him. Spotted the flags, I think. Oh, now Fitchbiz though will punish Lewis. I really Take sometimes have a feeling, I'm sorry, like gangsters are a kryptonite to hammers. And uh, well, I think once they convincingly win against gangsters, that's when they're going to start relaxing against such a team. Here's the thing, hammers do defeat gangsters in lesser tournaments, in the group stages, yes. not in the finals. And I, I would agree, when they get over this hurdle once, if they can do it at, on this stage, when the stakes are this high, what better opportunity. And the morale boost that does for your team, the confidence you get. Now Kraken, all he needs is a Super 90 and a few players up close. Kingy will be the first victim, will not win the duel. It's not been the duel, but it will not matter too much as Hammers do continue with the kills going into their favor. Only Kingy remaining, not going to do much more. Look at this, just like that, the scoreline has changed quite a lot in uh, the favor of Hammers. They're now on seven rounds and that's a four round lead. If they get more than uh, eight here. That's gonna be perfect. So it's gonna be uh, ending up nine to three. Hammers are gonna look really good going into that T side. But then again, gangsters, in those positions have made countless comebacks from that same on the same map uh, with the same score lines. Exactly. Fishbits gets the opening frag and spots at least two more players that try to spray him down into that monitor area. Picks wow. out. Alpha. Yeah, but that pick from Fishbits was definitely not needed. God. Oh, you have to win that. You have to get that kill. Now there's a player back backwards. Now you're surrounded. Now there's so many angles Hammer Esports have to watch for. Map control on the side of gangsters. They're all crossing towards back vent, but it's gonna be Blue Eyes denying that progression. They wanted to trick Hammers, they wanted to rotate towards A side, but Blue Eyes has something else to show them. He has locked the door and thrown away the key, and now it's only gonna be Joker remaining to try and find that key and kill three players. In, uh, in the process. Yeah, and Joker, hey, we have mentioned it a couple of times. This is the guy that usually carries. This is the superstar. Gangstars, but not today. Not in this tournament. We have to see if he can... I would guess those are the nerves or the... I mean, a new team structure. They need him right now. They're, you're losing 8-3. to three. You need Joker to show up. And Joker not showing up as Hammers. Have a pretty dominating CD half. Let's see how they do once they switch sides. But the gangsters have an opportunity to at least win one more. There's a player in monitors here. Fishbits in service, spraying to the smoke. Two, three kills, almost gets the fourth. Lewis, solo, and on the HP, and Fishbits finally gets him. What a play from Fishbits, just completely annihilating gangsters while they were crossing through the smoke. He gets four kills in total, and only Joker remaining. Hammer Seasports, have they found the confidence they need in order to win against Gangstars, I was afraid that Hammers Esports might not win a map in this series, but now looking at them, they look confident. They look like they know what's going on, but what a performance coming up from uh, Blue Eyes there. Blue Eyes has been on fire this game, 19 and four, and he has been on fire throughout the day, making those plays happen, crucial clutches, crucial spray downs, but fish bits in this, well, on banana, and absolutely unstoppable. And now. you can see how hammers are adapting those crossfires, and you can see that gangsters are trying whatever they they're trying a lot of things. It's not working out. Hammers completely just stopped them in their tracks, and now this is the most important round probably of this half. Alpha doing a lot of damage towards the members of hammers, but that's not gonna matter a lot. Look at the grenades coming up from gangsters doing so much damage, and only blue eyes remaining, just like that, stopping them up so much, and then finish them off with the pistols. It's gonna be gangsters. Taking that, uh, taking that pistol round. Yes. Well, and that's the stepping stone for gangsters. This is the foundation you need to make that comeback happen. And let's not forget, on Bureau, gangsters are really good on the city side. They struggle on that terrorist side. See, 
Some I'm blue hammers. They're really equal in this map when it comes yeah. to their weaknesses and strengths. High pistol, they're pushing in B side. Not successful so far. No kills in favor of hammers. Now there's blue eyes finding alpha. But it's gonna be just a bloodbath here on the B side. A lot of bodies surrounding the members, the live members of Gangstars. They're gonna secure that second eco round as expected. Now they're gonna start fragging a bit more. This is where Alpha should start getting on top of that board. You know that the last time we see him on Bureau, it was he was just pushing out at random times. Not really random to him. Yeah. He knows exactly what he's doing and he's, he's really successful at it. Let's see if we can make that happen once more. Yeah, random, starting to off. Mortal. random to us mortals. Look at the grenades. I'm really surprised how teams are performing with those grenades today. They're really on point doing so much damage before actually you finish him off. And someone ended up in the wall, if I'm not mistaken. The ragdolls oh. never, never cease to amaze me. And that's going to be gangsters actually. On sixth point, hammers are going to be buying up. They have a decent amount of grenades. Yeah. A lot of grenades. Five grenades, actually. So a huge focus on that. So they're going to be flushing out the anchor players and gangsters. Stop them up before pushing it into the site. Yeah, but Joker picks up aggressively. At least he gets one and runs out of bullets for Kraken. But this favors the terrorists. Now, gangsters have to split up. Now you have to think about how you're going to play on which side you're going to focus. There's no one back once, for example. If Joker was alive, that's a position you could play. That's a spot you could hold. But Alpha can still make this happen. He can hold this, but uh, not going to worry. How oh, finally the kill's coming in. No one checking the headshot angle, which is like the most common position on Bureau. You can just see the crossfires on Gangsters. No one was focusing on Alpha. He got two easy kills onto Hammers. Then he got killed, but that was a bit too late. As only one player was remaining. That's easy, does it? Uh, for gangsters and they're now approaching the lead of hammers you can see that the gangsters looking a lot of, they're just transferring the confidence from the previous map it's all the pressure on hammers side it's do or die if they lose this map they're out and they're going to be finishing up on the second place night again those grenades wherever hammers go they're going to be met up with a lot of grenades again three kills in this round it's all grenades joker finishing it off with the ratio and my god i have never seen such proficient play with grenades yeah, and not only one round it's round through round through both round through round both teams are doing it both teams are really performing with those but hammers as we said when they switch to the t side they have to bring out their best and it's not being going it's not good enough so far five rounds in a row for gangsters and even if the gangsters lose this somehow they have one more map to play for well hammers huge la last chance they're going for A, they're going for the anchor player, but look at Joker, just gets three kill. There's Alpha and Kingy. We saw everyone alive in in the last second, and everyone just disappears from the server. It's like ne they were never on the server. Gangstars, what the hell is going on with you guys? Just absolutely annihilating. It's like another player started playing once they switched to half. And we said that they are the best, uh, that they are a great team on that CT side on Bureau. I was expecting a bit more from Hammers here when it comes to their uh, T-sides, but you cannot blame them. They're just getting met up with a lot of grenades. They have to slow down a bit. They have to wait for that initial uh, initial aggression from Gangstars and have to wait for those grenades to explode. And then after that, when you know that they have not a lot of utility, which they're doing right now, you can see that Gangstars have zero nades. Now this is looking much better for Hammers. And one thing about Gangstars, the way that they play Bureau, you cannot really predict how they're playing on the CT side. Like, okay, on the A side, usually it's King just jumping around and uh, playing, you know, playing for picks, playing for information. But on the other side, on the B side, Knight could be back when Knight could go into Sandwich. And Alpha could just take out Vigibus, who take, took that duel completely unnecessarily. That is a gift, and a gift the gangsters will use and abuse. Did you notice that Alpha now is not playing aggressive because Hammer sees Prestige actually waiting for him to peek out, but he's, yeah. never be, he's never peeking out. Alpha knows that he has been an annoyance here on the B side. He's just playing his headshot angle. Hammers are having a lot of issues clearing that up. That's an easy kill on Joker, but I don't think he spotted Yeah, He did not spot a second player crossing into the side, and that could be a lot of issues for Gangstars, but one against four, too many to handle for high as he goes down, and just like that, Gangstars take away the lead. It was nine to three. Now we're seeing 10 to 9, and those was probably the fastest seven rounds I have ever seen. Yeah, they just flashed right next to us. The one thing that I'm kind of... Why this doesn't look good for Hammer is that they do not look focused. You know Knight is playing back once. Knight is almost always in that position, and you have to expect it. But this time, he flanked the front behind. No one looking behind, and Joker back from that hero ratio missed a shot. 
King and Oh, all the way from Sora takes a push mistake, so God. Kingy with the grenades again. Look at his stuff coming up from Gangsters. Confident enough, but look at Hammers. Losing players quick enough. Three against two. Is this actually gonna be such a story that Hammers do not manage to win a single map in a best of three in the grand finals of Mobile Masters? Blue Eyes speaking away. Great stuff. Much needed frag. But does he realize that there's one more player there? Kingy. Perfect angle. And now in a one against one. He's going to go. Hammers three. must win this or should i say blue eyes must win this round oh this is weird i mean weird it's probably a smart play but he doesn't know if kinga pushed out through banana or he went here now he hears him kinga made some noise he blue knows. eyes actually heard him yeah oh this is gonna be kinga's angle but blue eyes actually clutches it and does save the day for hammers does not allow gangsters to get to that 11th round and they are gonna save some cash as well Hammers Esports, 10 to 10, all equal. And this is where you, look you, at cannot, not, you cannot afford a single mistake at this point. When it's 10 look to 10. at how close this has been. You can see that Kraken on that SMG, meaning that he did not have, not have enough money to buy. And so, here's the play. Oh, Fishbit takes a lose though. Is it the old Aaron? That gun disadvantage may not come into effect. Alpha is on the side though. To yeah. Together with Knight and look at the headshots coming in. Look at the spray downs. And nothing wow. going the way of Hammers here. And they have been reset. Reset in the worst possible way. As now it's going to be 11 to 10. Two rounds are separating Gangstars from the champion title. Going to be bringing it home 15k. If they do manage to win those two rounds. Gangsters have won eight of last nine games. I mean, we have checked the statistics and it's looking good for Gangsters. And now on that, uh, on the grand finals, already leading one map. Gangsters not having some issues. We're quickly refrag by God. Has to check alpha. That. This is Alpha in his prime as he gets the first kill. Not able to get the second, but smartly goes back. And only God and Blue Eyes remaining. King of it a double kill. And this is hellhole for Hammers Esports. They do not have enough money to buy up rifles and it's last chance in the next round. Unless Blue Eyes can do something with the 1911. Grabs the AK. Does not spot the player actually. How is he still, still alive? He's getting shot from behind. Lands the headshot. 3 HP. This is not possible. Oh. This is not possible. He only has 3 HP and gets the double kill. What? Why is he standing around? What happened? I have no idea what happened here. Blue Eyes. Almost makes the one versus three clutch happen. At Something happened. Either technical difficulties or device problems. I'm not sure Maybe what happened, dies. but in the grand finals, he was looking really good. Maybe. Gets the two. How the hell do you land those headshots? It's just a heartbreaking moment. Maybe the guy had a heart attack. <laughs> that, that's my explanation, but we. Grenades. Is this going to be over? You only have. It's gonna be four against four, but Hammers deeply hurt as they're getting losing players fast. So are gangsters actually. Free frag galore all across the map. God, red HP, blue eyes is healthy enough. Will blue eyes have a second opportunity to clutch it out? To make up for being able to get the third kill last time. Knight is so close here. Takes a god all up to blue eyes once more to keep Hammers alive in this finals. Blue Eyes, last remaining hope, not gonna make it. Knight is gonna get that title to the Gangstar's hands and they're gonna be crowned as the champions of Mobile Masters. They have won the 15K prize and a well-deserved victory from the boys from the North America. And your first ever offline champions here in Critical Ops. Gangstars have done it. They are the champions, 2-0. Not losing a single game here today. Phenomenal performance for them. They can go home over the moon with this performance. Oh yeah, they can be proud where they got. And uh, everyone was doubting their performance coming up to this competition. I mean, they said, ah, gangsters on land, they might, uh, you know, flop. But they were not bothered. No. They delivered.
and they, they delivered in style. They've absolutely delivered. Take a look at your Amazon Fire bracket right here. Gangstars are going to be your champions in the end, managing to win out that $15,000 and becoming the first ever LAN champions oh, for yeah. Brickle Oxen. What a way to do it. But that, that was by no means an easy task for them, especially map number two there. Such a great performance by Hammers, especially in the first half. Yeah, they gave it their all. On the CT side, they played their style, they played how they had to and they managed to keep gangsters at bay as yep. soon as they switch sides just it looked like they're out of ideas at a few points they're not able to make it happen they're not able to yep. actually put in the rounds and that blue eyes clutch so heartbreaking in the end not yeah. able to happen yeah oh, absolutely brutal for him let's take a look at our razor phone replays powered by qualcomm snapdragon as we can glance over some of the highlight moments from this game and there was a lot of highlights here oh yeah uh we saw well, Hammer Seasports looked really good on the CT side, something you would expect from them. But then again, switching off the sides, Gangsters are the same team as Hammers and Bureau. I would say they have similar styles. Gangsters looked way more confident, Knight delivering with that U ratio. We don't see him often using the sniper, but man, oh man, did he deliver. I mean, that's a surprise. When you have Joker on your team, you expect him to be the guy to use it. And on the CT hop, he did, and he used it effectively. Going into oh, that second half, he had three kills only. After that, he came out and I think finished fourth or something like that on the scoreboard. Definitely, he has been one of the key players to pull it off. That's such a heartbreaking moment for Hammers. Definitely a well-deserved, maybe an expected final, some would say. But I was really expecting Hammers to get rid of that curse from Gangsters and to actually surprise us all. The gangsters, the only surprise was here, their performance and all of the players delivering on time. However, you can see on the scoreboard, it was not something in Nova's case where players were really, they were not as balanced when it comes to the kills. Gangsters, every single member has delivered. Every single player, wherever they were challenged, they were able to actually complete their task. Yeah, let's take a look at some of our statistics as well, coming out of that incredible grand final, brought to you by one more. As always, it was a 2-0 in the end, but honestly, especially on that last map, it didn't feel like a 2-0 victory. That felt hard fought at the end there, but we do actually have an interview with our players from Hammers Esports. So I'm gonna pass it over to Maria Ho with our G Fuel interview. Hammers, I know that was tough for you guys. The first map, there seemed to be a little bit of miscommunication. You guys rebounded so nicely in Bureau. Obviously, you guys were up um, a lot of rounds, and I don't know what happened. Can you guys explain? Um, so basically, um, Brew is actually like one of our weaker maps, um, and it's really based on somewhat CT. Um, as you can see on T side or CT side, we were really holding it down, but. Some of our pushes were a little too basic and we could have split up more and we just kept getting lining up and cl getting cladded. Yeah, well, it's still a great showing. You guys are going to take home $10,000 for your efforts. What do you guys think you guys can take from this into the next competition? Um, we can definitely um, just have a better mindset uh, and not try to lose focus mid-game and just we'll get them next time. I mean. All right, well, well done, guys. Back to you, Joe. Thank you very much, for Maria. We'll get them next time. And, uh, you know, they can be happy with this performance. Definitely a commendable performance from the Hammers. And, and I hope to see them at the next one. I hope to see them keep looking up and, and keep continuing to practice. Because this, this is a team with a lot of promise here. I mean, being second on the biggest competition yeah. so far in Cricket Ops history is no small feat. So Hammers, yeah, they're going to be disappointed a bit. But after a few days when... Uh, when they settle a bit, they're going to be really proud what they have achieved. And they're just missing a slight change of something when, they, when it comes to the finals. They need to just refresh themselves a bit or take another approach in the finals. But they have the ho all, all the foundation is set for them to become the best team in the world. Of course. And I mean, then again, we mustn't take anything away from Gangsters. It's not that Hammer is on the choke. Gangsters have been the best team, team for so long currently. The last match that they lost was in the summer of 2017. They've been consistently winning, consistently winning tournaments. And when that is happening, you have to see that they're obviously doing something right, even after so many roster changes. Yeah, it, it seems like this just a, an X factor, some kind of mojo that Gangstars has that no one else seems to be able to, to scratch at. They've been so consistent for such a long time. I mean, what is it that, that sets them apart from the crowd, that makes them able to take championships like they just have? Well, as you heard on the interview with Alpha, they consider themselves as family. They have 
Which maybe that's it. Maybe maybe it's just it about might that be, It might on. be a huge I mean, factor. You mentioned the interview. We actually have our winners standing by on the stage. So I'm going to pass it over to a G Fuel interview with Maria Ho and Gangstars. Right away. Gangstars, congratulations. You guys are the Amazon's Mobile Masters 2018 Champion of Critical Ops. Here is your trophy. Told you I'd give it right back to you. <laughs> nice job. So obviously a pretty dominant performance overall today by you guys. You guys always seem to show up, perform. What is it about this team? No pressure. Um, honestly, it doesn't come down to how we play in game. It doesn't come down to how we just do in the scrim. It's honestly that these guys, I would not be alongside anyone else right now. These guys are like my brothers, and I just love them for what they are. Like when you have good synergy out of game, like it's just magic in game. So obviously everything clicked, 13-4 on grounded, and then we came back on bureau. That's good game to hammers, man. That's That's definitely what happened. Kenya, do you have anything to add to that? It was just a family. Really, it's more than a family. It's, it's, it's more than an organization. It's like we're brothers. And I, like, I said, like he said, we, we, we didn't want to be here with anybody else. Well, there was kind of a lot of fuss being made about the fact that this was the first offline competition. Do you guys feel like that factored at all into the way you guys wanted to show up and perform? Uh, yeah, sort of. Um, a lot of uh, we play online differently, and then when we come play on LAN, um, it's a lot of pressure. A lot of you're nervous. You you know you're freaking out. But yeah, we perform pretty well. All right, well, awesome job. You guys are taking home fifteen thousand dollars. Enjoy your time here in Seattle. Thank you. Thank, very you. Much. Thank you so much. What a fun! What a fantastic performance coming out from those guys, and they're going to be over the moon with that victory in the end. It, it couldn't have gone to nicer guys either. But that wraps up our tournament here for Critical Ops at Amazon's Mobile Masters 2018. Gentlemen, final thoughts on the first ever offline tournament for Critical Ops? It's been fantastic. I think we had the best possible teams ever to compete in this uh, competition. I think everything went, uh, went to plan with the teams. Maybe, yeah, we had uh, some tears, we had some laughs, and, but in the end, it all matters that the scene is evolving, that we have uh, more of these kind of tournaments. So I think everyone's going to be happy in the end. And one thing that has to be confirmed now is that gangsters are the best team in the world. No one, someone has to challenge them for the title. Hammers tried so many times. But at this point, no one is close to them. And they have confirmed it on LAN. They have confirmed it that they can do it in the highest of pressure with the highest of stakes. Only fun stuff ahead of us. Yeah, fantastic stuff coming out from Gangstars. They are going to be your champions, and that is going to round out our tournament now. Later on, we're going to be jumping into Survival Arena. We're going to have a bit of a pre-show and a bit of a discussion of all of the games that's been happening up next. But then later on, we'll go into Survival Arena. 1v1 tower defense strategy coming your way. Make sure you stick around for that one, and we'll see you there. Yeah.